anybody who uses the internet pretty much as like a portfolio. I think I don't think the internet's quite there yet. I it, it's it's like a it's it's we're getting there. But I think at this point you should use the internet as a stepping stone and come back when you have a steady job. Don't expect to make steady income off the internet. I'm saying there's somebody who who did for a little bit, but you can't. You mean as an animator? As an well, I guess as anybody do because vloggers who got their start on YouTube who became really rich, like Rayleigh Johnson who did Equals Three, he quit his thing, but <coughs> I, I can't imagine his career lasting much longer. So, do you know anybody who's not like non-animators that start out well, person personally not, well? that or well, that that aren't doing well now that just oh, totally dropped? Oh, there's so the many. What the book was huge on YouTube. I trust Steve, Fred, all these guys. All these guys like scrape yeah. like ten thousand views. Yeah, now. you see like someone like oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shane Dawson who was at the top of the charts. Let and, me, and you see Shane Dawson and he's he's, let, he's grabbing any parody. Let, let me let me po- let me po- let me pose this question, which is actually harder. Mm-hmm. How many guys can you name who started online who are actually big now and doing what they wanted to do? And are in traditional media. Not still online. The only one I can think of is Bo Burnham. Yeah. Bo Burnham is the only one I can think of. That, wait, what, that does what? That, that, that started off on works. YouTube and actually moved on to what he wanted to do in traditional media. So film... Justin TV. Bieber? Hmm. Did he really start off or he was Yeah, kind of, he was on YouTube. Yeah, he was he a, he was a by YouTube sensation. Um, the Annoying Orange is on television, isn't it? Canceled. canceled. He got canceled. Oh. He gets 10,000 views now per video, pretty much. Dave Dave Bo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of a different note. I'm not going to keep going on this, but I'm going to say, like, I feel like unless... I'll, I'll, I'll say it like this. If YouTube went down, if you if you could find a job elsewhere, I think those are the people who will thrive. If you're an animator, you have a talent. You can do something. You can work in a studio. You can do whatever. But a lot of these guys who are vloggers who can only... Let's players, too. Let's, people who can only, only, only get an audience if they're constantly jump cutting, those guys can't find to be actors. They, they they only work in that setting. And I feel like they, 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 they should recognize that they're on a fucking timer. The epic meal type guys, they got like a show but they got cancelled or something. Like, oh, really? All those guys get their five minutes of fame and maybe they do a couple of independent movies or something and then they, they fade away. And then you see them in ten years it's like, did they end up like fucking MC Hammer? It's just that, that kind of thing. When they hit it big for a little bit then they, they explode down. My, my biggest, the five my, storm. my barometer for how I like to judge it is basically this. When I'm an old man and I'm talking to like my little grand nephews or whatever, when I explain to them what I did, during that period of time that they would be like, oh, that's awesome. Like, I can show them what I did yeah. and they would, and that they would appreciate it. That I can look back and be like, I did this thing. Yep. Rather than, like, I look back and I'm like, I don't, what was I doing? That was popular at the time or whatever, you know? Yeah. So, let's move right. on. Next question for Chris. Where's Demon Vault? I don't know. All right, next question. <laughs> next question. Oh, yeah, by the way, that, that the previous question, thank uh, Prophylaxis for that one. Yeah, nice. Thank YouTube you for algorithm, algorithm question. Um, I'll try to mix it up a bit here so they don't get... Um, get a lousy one. Mick! Mm. Anywhere in Malaysia you like? Any any good places to visit Who asked me that? Emma... Hey, I can get this. <laughs> Hold on. I'm I'm in Zamaranan. I'm a Zamaranan. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Any places in Malaysia I like? Mick, what part of Malaysia did you stay in? I'm oh. from Malaysia and would really love to know your favorite spots back when you stayed there. Uh, well, I went to school in, in Umpang. I went to ISKL. And so I was in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Um... And then when I went back in 2005, I was staying in Penang. Uh, I, I I don't know. I just where like is Malaysia? Malaysia, Southeast Asia. So it's in Asia. It's above okay. Singapore. Okay, I didn't um, know. I was thinking it was somewhere in uh, North Korea, South Korea. I, you know, I I really like downtown K- KL, especially when I went back. I mean, when I was there as a kid, it was still kind of like grungy, um, open sewers and shit. But. Uh, and I, and I do remember on my way to school, uh, there was this big like reservoir thing, and I remember a kid pulling up dead fish from the like this brown river thing, and yeah. putting them in buckets and stuff. Yeah, cool. But um, I went back in 2005, and it was pristine. It was beautiful. I, I, I love Malaysia. Trista Two asks, "What's the best advice you can give to a 17-year-old who is about to turn 18 as a legal adult?" Use condoms. Uh. Do you have any bad? Do you have any bad news? Any stories about that? Just thing? saying to use condoms. Uh, take All a, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have advice. Um, um, so I would say yeah. none of your life matters. Everything before you doesn't matter. High school, you're gonna forget about within one year. Uh, have fun. Yeah, don't don't change anything you have going on right now. Like continue to live off your parents and take 
you know, because I'm, I sure, I'm, I'm assuming, but I'm assuming that like the, he's they're on their parents like. Uh, well, they're 17 years old. Yeah, like medical st- stuff, so they can like go out and do like specific things that would help them in life. On your 21st birthday, don't shots drink 21 stuff. shots like an asshole. I would say this. If you're going to, if you're going, uh, just speaking from experience as friends of mine, if you're going to school for, like, t- a teaching degree or education, don't get caught underage drinking. That's, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, that every, fucks you for life. And you know, this is advice that I, I don't even have for my own life. It's advice that I'm observing for new lives coming into this world. Mm-hmm. But everything is recorded. So don't just, you know, yeah. look, I'm not saying you need to watch out for Big Brother, though you kind of do now. But just remember, like, if you're going to get a job, like, if you want to be a lawyer one day or you want to be anything where your credibility is is critical. It's on the line. Yeah, yeah. yeah just don't do not do that fucking skinny dipping yeah. uh, thing. Don't sleep. Don't, don't try do to take it. advantage of that drunk girl at the party. Don't. Don't do what don't I did. Do it. You know what I did? Everything will come back. Okay. Everything is going to come back. Let, let me tell you, you something. Let me tell you something very important in life. Uh, yeah, have Corey. good credit because it affects you in the future. That's a real I can I can tell you right now if That's you true. think credit is in, is something you should ignore. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me just say from experience that I took credit for for granted. I took so ages ago in 2009. I pulled out a loan because my mom needed it. So I pulled out the loan because like she needed money at the time. So I was like, okay, I'll pull out a loan. She was paying for it, but there was a time where she just couldn't pay for it. So I was like, okay, I'll pay for it. But this is where I didn't have a job. I was kind of freelance animating for like YouTube and shit. And it was a bill that was, I had paid off like half of it. So I only owed $500. Stupid enough, I was just like, they would send a thing. They'd be like, well, they'd be like, you're you're dropping like you're you're gonna be in juvenile or not juvenile fugitive something for your like uh, loan score and I was just like I was like fucking do your worst I'm not if I ain't paying you five hundred I got shit to worry about I got phone bills I got rent I'm like suck my dick I haven't been at school in fucking like four years kiss my ass I was like oh super cool I almost started smoking cigarettes but what ended up fucking happening was I tried to get a place and um, I paid it off. This, As of this recently, like this yeah, this is like a year ago. I paid it off, but here's the thing: you can't just pay off credit. If you were dropping credit score, paying off something, it's like to work your yeah, it's back like, up. Good, it's like good job, you got credit. But here's the fucking kickoff. Like, here's where it fucks you. Once you're in the red, I don't know how you can get back from it. Because in order to get a credit card, you, you have to at least be. You have to pay your bills. bills. You need to, you need to, look seriously. What, what I did, which was very stupid, which could have built good credit, but I didn't do this. I paid for my car in full. Okay. That's a very, very bad idea. That does not build credit. No, you want to get a credit card you, and you want to pay it card, off every month. Exactly. Get a card, pay it off every month. I get hate a car it. and pay the bills every month. Yeah. They need to make using a credit card as easy as using a debit card to encourage you to use your credit card because... I can just pay with my debit card and it's done with. With a credit card, you pay and oh, you have to remember to go into the account and pay it off. You, you don't pay that or, bill, you or, get fucked. Or, with or you get interest. an angry phone call, angry phone call from yeah. the bank. Oh, you forgot to pay. I have the money to pay it off. I just <laughs> forgot. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'll yeah. fuck this. I'm just using my debit card. So my my credit probably isn't bad, but it probably isn't good either. It's just See, it's just zero. That's neutral. the thing for me. My credit is is abysmal, and I, I'm not I, right now. I'm working on going to the credit bureau and getting my fucking birth certificate because I don't have that on me. Um, so it's it's a fucking huge hassle, but it's definitely something you should never overlook. Never overlook your credit. It is very important in life. If you want to get a fucking loan, if you want to get a fucking apartment, yeah. even if you have the money, because I have the money. I, I have first month's, last month's rent, and I have rent for days and fucking years. But the problem is, it doesn't matter. You need good credit in order to get an apartment. Another piece of advice, uh, turning 18, is to try to travel if you can. Um, travel cheap, try to find international friends that are around you and crash on their pads or whatever. Mm-hmm. But this is a good time to go do it before you gotta hunker down and get a job and, yes. and then you get roped to the ground. So while your chain is untethered, I'd say try to travel as much as you can. That's a really good advice. Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad I got to do a little bit of that. Even if it's just cross country. Just no, that's, that's go on a trip. Go see stuff. Go places you never went before. And if you can bring a friend and if you can, go see friends um, and do all that before you come back and, and go to go get locked down. Yeah, and like I said, like avoid 
any like stupid felony shit. Like do what you're supposed to. Yeah, don't commit felony. If you're, if you're doing something you're not supposed to, be smart about where you do it. Like if you're doing quote unquote drugs, yeah. you should do them in a place where you're not gonna get caught. Yeah. Don't don't do them at the club. Don't do them in your car. Don't do them and then go out on your way to the club. Just don't yeah. be a fucking idiot. Yeah, no, yes. if you're not it's pretty supposed simple. to do something, don't fucking do something. Or if you do do something, be smart about it. Okay. I have a pressing question. Okay. Yes. From self-proclaimed sir. Is okay. that his real name? Yes. yes. This is bird name. Well, Mr. Self-proclaimed. He came out. What is the most for? important part of a sandwich? <laughs> go. Either the, I would I'm tied between meat or meat the, cheese. The, meat or the cheese. cheese. I'll tell you what, cheese always hangs me up because I can never decide between sharp cheddar and provolone. I, I, I don't know about you doing guys. Swiss lately. It's always good. The most important part of a sandwich. That's What's easy. A sandwich without the That's bread. That's easy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Chris. Chris nailed. Chris nailed the coffin. He buried it and gave his more. <laughs> yeah, but just, yeah, but just, just, just salad pot. without the bread. Yeah, just exactly. Pour out meat and cheese and make little meat and cheese roll ups. It's, it's weird. Yeah. I don't. I don't like having like cheese and meat. It's like you get the bread. You have that fucking like delicious sandwich. You're holding it. You can hold it. You don't just eat fucking like. You don't just mold it. I guess you could make a meat like a, a meat and cheese burrito. But I'm telling you. The bread sometimes makes a sandwich. Certain like, like ingredients, like certain flavors, oh, don't really give you. Go to bread. Subway and get the herb and cheese bread. Yeah. <sighs> no, dude, um, dude, the fucking like special bread, like cheesy bread and stuff. Yeah, that one. Herb and cheese. Oh my god. Why? Keep this concise. Heavenly Krishna asks basically. Um, all right, if you were to just pitch a TV show again, like say tomorrow, what would you do differently from how you originally did it? Okay, so how we originally did it was we, we we went in fucking with our our body language was horrible for one thing. We were looking down at the floor. We were scared. We you were stuttering our words. You had your life replica like cut well, out. We didn't do like full. Well, well, I guess we kind of did. We, we kind of practiced the pitch, but we didn't do it enough. <laughs> but uh, I would say uh, I, we did a couple things wrong. You know, the more time goes on, the more I realize how we fucked up. I would say actually the biggest thing is don't walk in there with the ego. Yeah. We walked in there with that. We would We didn't. We didn't have an ego. We, 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 let me clarify. An ego in the sense, not like I'm a big deal, but like in the sense where it's like... You just weren't I'm humble enough? Punch. Is that the problem? Was it? You were not humble? Oh yeah, no, you no, were... No, uh, it wasn't that. I'd be like in the we, sense where... We were being too, uh, pr- like pride, full of pride. Okay. Well, it wasn't even that. Yeah, Unwilling it was just, to it was just, negotiate yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. But if you walk into a place, they go, well, fuck you, get out. We yeah. have to, like, if... You're gonna have to fucking budge on something. Like the first it's, time, I would was, say pick what the go. Okay, I'm sticking to this. Everything else, I can kind of talk well, to. But about. but no, this is why we didn't budge. They were like, okay, we've already got a show called like uh, Hell Faggot, whatever. And they were like, we need Mr. to change. Pickles, and it was, yeah, uh, they were like, we want you to change the name of Hellbenders. We were like, no. And they were like, fine, whatever. Is it? Yeah, it's just like, oh, okay. You know what? If we went back now, we'd be like, yeah, let's just call it the Gooseberry Brothers. It's a stupid. It's a stupid. <laughs> It's a stupid title, but I would just say be willing to negotiate. Don't walk in there with it. The, when I say ego, I don't mean in the sense where it's like I'm oh, a big deal. You know, you know who I am. I mean in the sense where it's like, look, let me just do my idea because you're gonna have every guys, show on TV is fucking been negotiated. Or a realistically, all we said it was originally gonna be about fucking actors in Hollywood, but they the, the network is like that's a bad idea. Make up, make up guys in Philadelphia. Like you have. To, I think it's good to have a certain amount of pride in terms of. Like, that you're proud of what you are bringing to the table, but I understand what you're saying. There, there's a level, I'm not saying be their bitch, but I'm also saying don't sit there and go, I'm not going to budge. You sure. have to be willing to fucking talk because right. they're, not gonna, they're just not going to work with you. I guess when you, if you were doing your pitch, if I could say anything, you walk in and you just be humble to anything they sort we, of say. We, we, were, we were humble. Chris and I, we, we weren't like, hey, look at me. No, no, I'm not we saying. Nervous. No, I, I know what you mean, but like, they're. I, you definitely have to say, okay, I'll, I'll work with you on this, I'll work with you on that. Mm-hmm. Here's, Here's a question. There's, there's a healthy balance. What's your question? Sorry, were you, were we... No, go for it. Alright, um... Well, this kind of ties into something earlier. Zach, Zach had a little back and forth with a mongoloid on YouTube about uh, some guy accused him of selling out. All of us. And uh, this question... Yeah, no, it's this, 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 uh-huh. this... Especially you, Mick. Pseudo-intellectual cunt that plays the guitar and gets like three views per video. <laughs> but anyway... Yeah. A fucking failure that will be forgotten by the annals of history. You but know anyway, who you are, you question, fuck. Yeah, you know who you are. Holy shit. Next question. Yeah, this guy says... Roasted6 asks... How would you guys define selling out? Giving you know, up on your beliefs. It's very, very... He just got it. 
doing something something you would not normally do in exchange for money. That's it. That's it. The end. Next question. Okay. That is pretty. Selling t-shirts. Like a okay. As simple as selling shirts. Okay. Selling your work. A okay. Selling a bunch of dice. Yeah. Charging for your work. That's something. Oh, that's, that's something. something people, people, eh. That's something. People, ah, eh, and that's ah. funny. That's funny because that's something people think. Like to go more on the, like people think like oh. You're selling your own merchandise, you fucking sell out. They, they don't understand the concept that you're making making money off your own stuff. It's, it's not and selling people out. are giving it their own money for it. Yeah, people, it's their choice. Yeah, it, it's like you're not you're not selling like real like it's not like fucking like a uh, Dragon Ball P on Doritos cups and shit. Like, it's not it's not that. <laughs> I do that too. I wouldn't fucking give a shit. Yeah, yeah, but Who cares? I mean, like, but you would you would endorse Doritos. You but I if fucking I, like if Doritos. If I like the product, I would do exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, I, I would genuinely like. I would. I would totally. not, no, but you're not going to do something. Like you're not gonna endorse. Look, you, no, you're not gonna endorse Ben Gay or something. If Radio Shack came up to me and said, "Look, I want to put Goku's <laughs> fucking retired face on our window," I'd say, "Fuck you, Radio Shack. Yeah. You're a shitty store. I'm glad you're dying." You what if they shit. wanted to put it on like their Halloween RC cars? I would Why? say, "Go away. You're a bad store. <laughs> Stop asking me <laughs> a million you, questions. We're trying to buy something." You know when you're, you know when you're selling out because you can feel yeah. it in your bones. If you're doing it solely, if you know that you would not ever even consider doing it until they gave you the price tag, yeah. then there's a very good chance it's selling. If, I don't even care. Like, I don't, I, I, the way I see it is, if you're making something pure that you like, let's say a video game or yes. a movie, and if somebody comes along and says, well, you know, we just want to sell toys of this. As long as, like, the core it's product fine. is something yeah. pure that you like, Look, yeah. and they're just offering you a bunch of money to sell a bunch of shit, kids will buy any, like... Another thing it is, doesn't matter. you know, product placement in movies. Yeah. If the product placement doesn't affect your immersion, then it's not that selling out. That is incredibly out. important. Like when growing up, when you watch so many comedy movies, you don't realize the subtlety of the product placement because it's not the main focus. The main focus is the joke. That's tough though because stuff. it's like almost now people are almost on the lookout for it. Anytime they see anything with the name on it, they're like, oh, that's. Yeah, but also but then again, sometimes there's like fake also, brands, and you're like, that's stupid. Yeah. yeah. Then again, there's also like it, it's not it, people yeah, yeah. are looking for it, but it's also also, like how much in, it's like what Chris said. How much in your face is it? Like you're shameless. I, like, I hate when I when I see movies it's like what's going to blink the balls with you. Transformers. You mean? You yeah. Yeah, yeah. Transformers four was fucking obnoxious. Yeah, but I saw it was the, there was a scene. It was terrible. Where the fucking the dude crashes his spaceship. The fucking blue and Budweiser. And he comes out. He crashes scene. into like like a fucking Budweiser thing. And he comes <laughs> out. He comes out. He cracks it. And it's like ah, and he drinks yeah. yeah. You have to start laughing. World War Z. Brad dude. Pitt gets chased by zombies and he locks him behind a door and he walks over to a pristine Pepsi machine and he <laughs> perfect takes one out Perfect. drinks it. And, and, and the background it. is like this disgusting <laughs> orange background. So the red it's zombie movie sticks out. They have pristine Pepsi can still somehow. I don't know if anybody's seen it, but if, if, if any of you are, what, sh what show is that from? It was from one of the, it was like from Hawaii Five-0, where the guys eat oh, the Subway, Subway sandwiches. Oh, God, I saw oh, that. He, yeah, yeah, the guys oh, are sitting there. there. <laughs> I love the fucking it, camera keeps like panning. It, it literally, it's, what is it? It's like a fucking detective thing, and he's like, hey, what are you eating? He's like, oh, I'm just, I'm just eating this chicken sandwich. It's really good. You can get it for six It's only got two hundred calories. the news is like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then the girl, the girl's like, well, really? How, you know? Yeah, yeah he's how like, many calories is that? and then, but he's explaining. He's like. It's not what you think. You can actually get a deal right now. <laughs> yeah. so good. If you can, if you can <laughs> cut the scene out, if you can cut the scene out and double it as the actual ad, <laughs> that's when you know it's product placement. Like the thing with World War Z and the Pepsi thing. Yeah. That could easily be a commercial. It probably would. Snip it out and put it right there. Yeah. The guy had right. like fucking like six sub like <laughs> Subway sandwich. It wasn't just There's one. Also, it was like six of them. Like he was made, doing yeah, a fucking taste eight, test. They took they took the fattest guy on the show. He's like eight hundred pounds, and he's talking about how healthy. These subway sandwiches. Well, one, one kind of product placement I don't like is when they get like Shrek and he's like, "Oh, McDonald's milkshakes." It's like you're ruining the immersion. Of oh yeah, yeah absolutely. You don't want like Shrek going in and like. You're you don't like the Shrek versus the Shamrock Shake. Yeah, no, I hate that. <laughs> because it's like, why does he have McDonald's in his world? It's fucking fairy tale land. It's bullshit. It's true. It, it doesn't make sense. Chris, I hate to tell you, but Shrek is a real character. He is. <laughs> but you have to remember that funny joke. I'm making waffles. Waffles is an infant. Waffles is, is man-made. It's not fantasy-made. Holy fuck, the immersion is gone. I know. When he's like, I'm making waffles, and then he said garlic. He should have said, I'm making old potatoes mashed into a pan. Yeah, he's like, fuck I'm you. making swamp, <laughs> swamp grass soup. If I was Shrek, I would have killed Donkey Kong. next question. <laughs> this is important. We're talking about product placement. Go for it. Go. Wait, Jeff, let me ask you something. What? Um, out of all the recent movies you've seen yeah. uh, that aren't shitty garbage, not hot, hot fucking sewage like Transformers and yeah, these yeah, fucking yeah. like travesties, yeah. a movie you really liked where it broke the immersion, 
because it had a product placement that just felt really out of place at the time. Uh, that, that, so, sorry, I know you have the answer. Go ahead. No, we can, can name some. Just, yeah, well, I just watched Age of Ultron. Mm-hmm. And it, look, I... It wasn't crazy bad. I mean, they'd done it before, didn't they? With, like, Burger King or something? He's like, I'm going to need a Burger King burger. Like, Tony Stark. No, oh, no, that was an Iron Man movie. Mm. Remember he needed a... When they found him, that I, I, in I the don't desert. like that. I don't think that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. What like, yeah, yeah. That's what he would do. Too, if I was in the fucking desert. So that didn't take me out. But it's weird because yeah, that yeah, didn't take me out. Yeah. But that was clearly product placement. But that did not take me out. It seemed like a very Tony Stark thing to do. Yeah. But at the end of Age of Ultron, no spoilers, don't worry. Um, Scarlet gets a, a Skype message. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and it's so weird because that sound, and, and I get... It's in know, Birdman, too. Is yeah. it? Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, when we were watching that, we all checked her Skype. Yeah, no, that's the thing. It's like, it, and even that is so subtle, and it's, you know, whatever, whether it's product placement or not, it doesn't really matter, and, and it shouldn't be, because technically it's just Skype. You know what? We all use it, and yeah. guess what? That They're using it, too. It humanizes them. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, as soon as I heard that Skype sound, I was just like... You just don't even use Skype. Yeah, I just rolled my fucking eyes, like, yeah. uh... Dude, I, I'll tell you the last one happens when I saw, uh... What's Did he use... Here, go ahead. Skyfall? Yeah. There's a part where the hacker, like, uploads a video to YouTube and puts it that on a movie. I was like... fucking trash. Yeah, the hacker's like, he goes on YouTube and he's like, Can I say something? A hacker I, I, re- I really hate that fucking cliche of somebody uploading something to a YouTube type thing. Oh, and I then it gets a bunch of views. I fucking hate the that fucking, cliche. That fucking lady M, she's like... We're ruined and it has like nine views. It's like, yeah, you're really not. It's just like, a cause, it, Cause it's like, if it's like that, it's like these videos get like obnoxiously <laughs> hyped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That happened in what, kick ass? Yeah. 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 Every single one. Oh, that that, that shows show. YouTube. It always has like Anything? 50 million yeah, views it, and like four likes. It's, it's like, what? Yeah, it's just not even the effort, you fucking idiot. It's not even a realistic number. It's just like, yeah, exactly. It's like, it's fucking, it's not movies. It's always like one tenth the likes of the views. Just fucking learn that. Thank you. Amen. How do you guys feel about AI technology? Uh, it's creepy. Jeff, if we build a robot version, you would fuck it so it's not gay because it's not you. Uh, good. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> would it be... Uh, sorry. 404 Life Not Found asked that. Alright, next question. Ari Ledzima asks... Would you be okay with making a sleepy cast animated, but instead of animation, actors representing your story? That'd be awesome. That'd be yes. cool. <laughs> this is the yes. Yes. Good. And to really play off our stereotypes. Uh, specifically, Ryan Gosling, um, uh, Tom Hanks for Jeff. John Oliver. You have to get John Oliver. I will not <laughs> sign on to this fucking deal without John Oliver. Uh, I want Channel you know, Tatum. CG, CG, Chris, though. I know, I always yeah. do this thing where I snap, my, snap my fingers and violently Corey, point at somebody. Be, you should why be don't played by that guy from Jurassic Park who drops the canister down the hill. Do you, do, yeah. you know, do you know what I want to do? <laughs> I want to walk on set with John Oliver. Wait, do you mean? And I want to act like I don't know where I am. Hold on, hold on. Night. That. That's cool. I want to walk on stage with John Oliver when he's doing his comedy bit, and I was like, "You can't comedy bit." I want to walk on, act like I don't know where I am, and then hide my face. So I'm wearing like my, I'm wearing like one of those like hoodies and stuff. And then when he comes over, when he comes over, I want to lift it up and be like, "Dad." Dad? Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. I want to be like, "Dad." Corey, have you got an idea? Corey, find a big, like, huge, like, wicker basket, like a massive wicker basket, and then go to his doorstep and, like, lay on a blanket and go, eh, 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 eh. Okay, Mick. Did she yeah. make a video called John Oliver Makes Out with Ryan Gosling and wait. have you guys kiss? No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. wait. I, no, I don't want to be Ryan Gosling, okay? <laughs> I want Ryan Gosling to fuck a girl, and I want Owen Wilson to fuck another girl. Yeah. And one of them have a baby boy, and one of them have a baby girl, and watch them grow, and then they fuck, and I want to be played by that kid. Got it. <laughs> Okay. Owen Wilson? Owen Wilson, Ryan Gosling. What, why Owen Wilson? Why don't you just well, cut to the chase? Why don't you just have Ryan Gosling fuck Owen Wilson and then Because they can't baby. conceive. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Okay. I want... <laughs> if, 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 someone plays, uh, baby. if someone plays John Oliver, I want him to play a deaf person. I'm playing a baby at punch him. What? I want a deaf person to voice dub John Oliver. <laughs> why? My name is Corey. Why? Why, Corey? <laughs> Stop so smiling like a chimpanzee, you fucking idiot. Because <laughs> it would be funny. I want John Oliver to be talking normally and be like, I go fight. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Let's get out of here, dude. What a day. Right. Um, fast you question. cannot deny that that wouldn't be funny. John Oliver talking Corey, normally with it. a deaf person. So Jaxosaurus <laughs> asks, what's your ideal coffee like? Oh. Iced, extra sugar, etc. Very, very dark coffee with some fresh cream. Easy. 
That's it. One big strawberry. Easy. <laughs> I get it. Go. I get it all the time. Yeah. Just like if I if I if I make it at like a on a brewer. Yeah. Normal. Just cook it up, make it, and then drink it. But if I go order it at a place, if black. I go to Dunkin's, yeah, yeah black. You but if, drink black coffee? Yeah, normally. But if I go to something like Dunkin's, there's a specific thing I want. I want turbo. I want a smidgen of cream <laughs> and no sugar, and either large or extra large. But I don't want extra large anymore. Because I mean, I fucking ranted about why I want extra large. Right. And you know what? It's true. Check because out the cartoon with a uh, Corey ran about coffee. Yeah, yeah. So I ordered extra large. That's a good sleep 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 animated. Yeah. Yeah. Black, yeah, I like it. Black, thick, rich sludge. I'm not gonna make a joke here, so stop it, mate. Um, and uh, if I do go to Starbucks, if I have to, I will generally always order a clover press. Uh, it's a reverse French press, apparently, or something. It has very low acidity, mm-hmm. um, but it, and it's a little bit more expensive, but it, it, and it takes a while for them to make, but it's fucking tasty. I'm right. a fan of cappuccino with a little bit of uh, cream, and that's it. All right. Yeah. You just can't have All too right. much cream if it's, cheap, if it's cheap coffee, I will add sugar. It cheapens the no, value. Like we'll take a diner or something, I'll have like, cream and sugar, but I like a big, fat coffee cup. Shekelstein asks, sorry, <laughs> yes. who came up with the idea of all living in the same place and how were you all convinced to live there? What idea? That just like happened over well, like, uh, we were all friends. Jeff, you want to yeah. live at your friends, I mean, you? Jeff already lived here. Newgrounds is in the area. I moved here. Stamper was already Did working you, at Newgrounds. This, this wasn't yeah. like, this wasn't like A fucking plan. like the good old boys when we all planned this when we were younger. This was just something that happened. It was just a series of events. I knew well, Chris. I know how it happened. I knew Stamper. I just moved in with Stamper when Hans was there. Yeah. And then so Chris came. Wait, wait, what order did everybody there, wait, move in? I was there before you. Chris was there before me. Stamper grabbed the thing. house. It was me, Stamper, and Mike, I think, and Joy, I think. Yeah. Okay. Wait, no, she was not Joy. No, no, it's like, it's like if you have a big boot on and you step in a pile of shit yeah. and then you try to rub the shit off in the grass, you know what happens? It collects a bunch of grass. So essentially, just more people just gathered like yeah. a like a boulder and like a like a snow boulder. Yeah. I think what it was, I think more or less what it was, it was one of these things. It was kind of a snowball effect. Yeah. What basically happened was what I remember, this is I don't know if this is but this is just from my point of view. When I came, Chris was staying with Hans and it was Hans, you and Stamper and Mick. That's what it was. It wasn't me? Huh? No, to Chris, it was Hans, Stamper, Mick. I wasn't here. Mi- Mike. Mike, yeah. Oh. Sorry, I don't know why I said that twice. Sorry. But yeah, and then Mike left, and Zach had already been here. Zach, I wanted Zach to come because, like, we all, like, you could work with Chris, uh-huh. and it was just way easier for you to just come and, and live here. So then Chris. I mean, there was, there was points where I would come, like, I'd visit yeah. here for like four months at a time, pretty much. Yeah, and Jeff has always been next door neighbors to that house. And then you Shad came. Before you move. I'm always around. He's always around. And then I Shad and Lewis moved in. Yeah, and then Shad came. Shad came where he was looking for a place, and I'm like, you should totally come here. And he was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. And I was like, oh, all right. I didn't know if he would because it was kind of like. That's what happened with Stan for me. He just offered out of nowhere. And I was like, yeah. okay, cool. But it was I'll, cool I'll, because. I'll, I'll admit it. I, I thought Shad man was going to be a total psycho. I, thought, I was like, no, no. I was like are you really going to let him move in here? No, it's one of those things. Yeah, like, being like the nicest guy ever. No, it's, so. it's that it's that rule where it's like the people who draw the most vile or fucked up stuff are the most coolest people you'll meet. Yeah, and the people who draw the most baby shit are yeah, the most are the fucking creepiest, disgusting. Like, fucking like introvert artists. <laughs> no offense, <laughs> they 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 like they're the kind of people who like fucking yeah like they the like people. they like step on cat heads and have people spit on them for fun. For sexual <laughs> yeah. gratification. Specifically, right. the door of the explorer. Any person, what I'm basically saying is anyone who's ever made friendly family stuff now. It's uh, like, on the internet, at least. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, it, no, it, it's not that kind of stuff. It's like that awkward campiness where those jokes are just like, uh-huh, mm, I'm not a 12-year-old, so I don't think it's funny. But then that's not always true. You kind of got to pick and choose. But for the most part, I don't think it's like a, it's just, I guess it's a cognitive bias, but it's a bias I've come to look, sure. like understand. I'm, over experience. I'm gonna just choose to believe everybody who isn't offensive on the internet is a pedophile. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, just put it that way. That. William's they always want to ask. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. People always ask, people always say back in my day, or people always say back in the day everything was always better. Yeah. Do you guys think anything has gotten better, or are you all cynical? Or yes. Look, if you're retarded enough to say that things were better 20 years ago, we had worse stuff, and you're an idiot. No, things have absolutely gotten better. Anyone who says, oh, it used to be so much easier back then. Well, technology some, some is better. Something is like, worse. Like, 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 the whole gaming <clears throat> industry is way worse than it used my, to be. My point is, now you, you have every other good game from the other decades, plus new games. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is, like, you, you have, 
My point is, it makes no sense. Unless the country that you lived in fell into a fucking... I would say... Your whole thing collapsed. No, I, I would saying. say it revolves around can... certain things. For yeah, instance... Yeah, every movie, every piece of music, every yeah, video game... What I'm saying is decade. that... We're ta talking was now, an not decade then, prior. Making games talking and, now. Movies. I would say definitely some things are cut and dry, but I would say that a lot of things Most are things much are easier. 